lying and exposing CIA operatives. O and Jan 31, 2007, Jason Leopold and Mark Ash reporters for Truthout.org said that copies of handwritten notes by Vice President Dick Cheney, introduced at trial by attorneys prosecuting former White House staffer I. Lewis, Scooter, Libby, would appear to implicate George W. Bush in the Plam CIA leak case. According to the article, Cheney's handwritten notes implicate Bush and Plam affair. It states that Cheney's notes reveals that he was not going to protect one staffer and sacrifice the guy this press asked to stick his head in the meat grinder because of the incompetence of others. Governmental malfeasance and torture. O oh, and August 24, 2005, Marjorie Cohn said that the Army Reserve Brigadier General Janice Karpinski, who was in charge of the infamous Abu Ghraib prison in Iraq when the now famous torture photographs were taken in fall of 2003, said that anybody who confronts this administration or Rumsfeld or the Pentagon with a true assessment, they find themselves either out of a job, out of their positions, fired, relieved or chastised. Their career comes to an end. C. Abu Ghraib General Lambast's Bush Administration Domestic Spying Before 9-11 On January 12, 2006, Truthout.org reporter Jason Leopold said that the National Security Agency advised President Bush in early 2001 that it had been eavesdropping on Americans during the course of its work monitoring suspected terrorists and foreigners believed to have ties to terrorist groups, according to a declassified document. In the article, Bush authorized domestic spying before 9-11, Leopold said. These activities were begun shortly after Bush was sworn in as president and contradict his assertion that 9-11 attacks prompted his taking the step of signing the secret executive order authorizing NSA to monitor selected Americans thought to have terrorist ties. Bush's psychological state and ties to poor decision dash making. O oh, and January 18, 2007, John P. Briggs, Maryland, and J.P. Briggs II, Ph.D. wrote that, because of a psychological dynamic swirling around deeply hidden feelings of inadequacy, the president has been driven to make increasingly incompetent and risky decisions. In the article, Bush and the Psychology of Incompetent Decisions. Presidential Abuse of Power. The New Yorker column Neil C. Hirsch said that, we are simply in a situation where this president is really taking his notion of executive privilege to the absolute limit here running covert operations, using money that was not authorized by Congress, supporting groups indirectly that are involved with the same people that did 9-11, and we should be arresting these people rather than looking the other way. Harsh mentioned the presidential abuse of power in an interview with a CNN interviewer on February 25, 2007 as explained on ThinkProgress.com. In an article, Hirsch, Bush funneling money to Al-Qaeda related groups violating international law and the U.S. Constitution. Free Dash Lance writer Sherwood Ross said, the Bush administration is spending more money, in inflation-adjusted dollars, to develop illegal, offensive germ warfare than the $2 billion spent in World War II on the Manhattan Project to make the atomic bomb. Ross, in a December 20, 2006 article entitled, Bush Developing Illegal Bioterror Weapons for Offensive Use, said that, Francis Boyle, the professor of international law who drafted the Biological Weapons Anti-Terrorism Act of 1989 enacted by Congress, said, the Pentagon is now gearing up to fight and, win, biological warfare pursuant to two Bush national strategy directives adopted without public knowledge and review in 2002. Bush's policy likeness to Hitler single quote s. A reader, S.L., from Wisconsin submitted content for the article the Bush-Hitler thing. He saw parallels with Bush's policies and behavior with that of Hitler. 09 January 2004 On Bush's smokescreen over the effects of global warming. Truthout.org UK correspondent Chris Floyd said, The good folks at A, whose members were instrumental in bringing us the splendid little war in Iraq and are now agitating for an even more glorious bloodletting in Iran, are offering scientists and economists $10,000 each plus extras, to tear down the IPC report and snow job the Hoi Poi into believing that the crack pipe of the Kirban era will never be empty. Floyd's statement comes from the article, 
Bush backers offer payoffs to undercut global warming.